What's up everybody, how's it going? This is Booster Gold, I'm Seamus, and today I have a little deck profile video for you. Um, it is an expanded deck, so it is not standard. Um, it is the Chandelure from Steam Siege. Um, it's a really cool deck, in my opinion anyway. Um, I play I play it a lot on the um, Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Uh, not so, I'm not a super competitive player by any means, um, but I do think that this deck is usually pretty reliable, um, so I'm just going to go through it for you, and uh, you guys can tell me what you think, I suppose. Um, so first of all, I've got a um, Mew EX with the versatile ability, um, and it's just to have an EX attacker, basically another option. It's really nice to put it out first so that you can put your Litwicks down on the bench and really build them up. Um, we're playing four Litwicks, of course, because um, <clears throat> these are the only basic Pokemon in the deck. Um, so we're going to do only two Lampants, and you'll see why. Uh, four Chandelures, of course. So we have a 4-2-4 four, four line of, uh, of Litwick, basically, of the Litwick line, and we're playing three rare candies, and so that's why you only need two Lampins, because obviously with the rare candy, you get to entirely skip, or it saves you a turn, essentially, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so what the Chandelure does is it's kind of like, um, I guess you could say a worse Night March, only, you know, Night March kind of doesn't work anymore because you have uh, Karen to get rid of to get rid of all your cards in your discard pile, or I mean their Pokemon in their discard pile. So Chandelure has 130 HP, um, it has the Sinister Selection ability, which I'll read for you, it says, once during your turn, before you attack, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your discard pile, and one of them into your hand. Um, <clears throat> so it, it really helps to dig, especially when you have more than one of these set up, um, and then its attack is only two energy. Um, one Psychic and one Colorless. It's called Past Friends. It says 10+. plus. This attack does 10 more damage for each supporter card in your discard pile. Um, Chandelure has a weakness to darkness and a resistance to fighting. And two Retreat Cost. So all around, not a bad card. Um, the 130 HP and the fact that it's slow and it's a stage 2 is really the only downside to it. Um, so what you want to do is put as many supporter cards in your discard pile as you can, um, which is the key to the whole thing. Um, typically, uh, when I'm, you know, to the, when I'm doing maximum damage that I can do, I do about 180, is very typical for a, a normal game. So let's look at some of the supporters we play. Um, we've got four Professor Sycamores, um, and it should be obvious why, I mean, Sycamores in pretty much every deck nowadays, but, um, it helps not only for the draw power of drawing seven more cards, but it helps because it discards every card in your hand. So you could have a handful of train or of supporters, um, play your Sycamore, you discard all of them, and that just jumps you up. It's a great turn one play. Um, happens to me all the time. We're going to have three ends, just because, you know, once again, basic, they're in almost every deck nowadays, and it's a uh, great supporter, great draw power. It messes with your opponent's hand, so it's really nice. Um... We got two Lysanders. Obvious, Lysander is again in almost every deck, at least with at least one card. Um, you know, just get what you need off the opponent's bench. It can even stall for you if you need if you need that to happen. Um, let's see. Uh, we also have Skyla. I'm gonna play two of them, or I play two of them in my list. Obviously, um, this list is up to your discretion. If you end up wanting to try it out. Um, you can, you know, play whatever you really like to play. You don't have to play the Mew EX, but I just really like to have it in. Um, I, I do play one Karen because this is expanded, so you never know. Um, a Colrus, just because I like Colrus, and if your opponent plays a lot of Pokemon out onto the bench, and you've got your Lit Litwicks and Mew out there, you can draw a lot of cards. Um, one Delinquent, just to get rid of any stadiums in play. And, um... The rest are just kind of filler. There is a Bridget. Bridget can be helpful, you know, get out as many Litwicks as possible. And then we've got a Professor Birch's Observations, just kind of filler. Hex Maniac gets rid of abilities for a turn. It can be nice, not necessary though. An AZ, same thing. It has its uses, but not necessary. Uh, we have a Giovanni Scheme. 
just a filler for the most part. Um, I've got two teammates. Um, not necessary, but Chandelure, you know, does get knocked out from time to time, only having 130 HP. So, uh, you know, if it gets knocked out, you can play it. Maybe you don't have a Lampin or a Chandelure, but you got Litwicks. Um, you can uh, pull another Chandelure out of the deck and pull a Rare Candy out of the deck. All right. <clears throat> so this deck, my list anyway, only plays eight Psychic Energies, and it really doesn't need more than that. Um, after testing it out a little bit, um, I've just kind of come to that conclusion. So eight Psychic Energies, and that's all you need, because you never need more than two to attack. And uh, we do play one copy of Dimension Valley in the deck, so at that point you'd need even less. Three Super Rods, because sometimes Litwicks get knocked out early. Four Ultra Balls, obviously for searching, but they do help you discard um, supporters from your hand, which is really nice. Three Level Balls, because Litwick and Lampent are both below 90. And here is um, the reason why the uh, this deck is so good in Expanded. Um, you have Battle Compressors that you can play in Expanded. I play three of them. And uh, it's just really nice, um, especially early game. Usually I only ever need to use two of them, honestly, but there's three just to add consistency to the deck. Um, you know, you can compress away into the discard pile any supporters early game. And, uh, oh, I didn't mention Litwick's um, attack. Litwick has one attack. It's called Slightly Simmer, and it says, Search your deck for two cards and discard them. Shuffle your deck afterwards, or for up to two cards. <clears throat> so you don't have to discard two. But you have at least have to discard one, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, at the beginning of the game, you're playing Sycamores to discard. You're playing Battle Compressors to discard, and you're using Litwick to discard. And if you have Mew out, you can use Mew to use Litwick's um, attack to discard. Uh, so there's five more cards we've got. <clears throat> we've got XP Share. Um, just because, like I said early on, sometimes Litwick's get knocked out. So it's nice. Um, with only playing eight energy, sometimes you just can't find energy. So when, it, when Litwick's knocked out... Energy moves on to another Litwick. <clears throat> Very obvious. We've got our One Dimension Valley, and uh, that is, <clears throat> again, debatable. Doesn't have to be in the deck, but I had room for it, basically. And so it comes in handy, um, usually in-game, is when I end up playing it. Uh, with there only being one, you won't win Stadium Wars um, if people are playing things like Rough Seas, or like Skyfield, or whatever it is, or whatever it may be. Um, last two cards in the deck are probably obvious. They are VS Seekers. Um, with having discarding all your supporter cards, um, <laughs> you still need to be able to play supporter cards from time to time, so why not play them from the discard pile? And that's what VS Seeker is good for. Um, you know, or you'll have, <clears throat> or you can, you know, maybe you don't have any worth playing in your hand, so you can pop a Battle Compressor, put them in the discard pile, and then pop your VS Seeker, and then you can play um, a supporter. So we all know that VS Seeker is just an all-around great card. Um, maybe two is not enough. For some people, you might you could play three, maybe even four. But I really thought that two was enough. Um, I, I never really seem to have issues with it. Uh, it tends to get me through the game. Uh, so I believe at the end of all this, we have 21 supporter cards in the deck. Um, so. Uh, I mean, if you discarded all 21 of them, which I have never done, I think my max was ever was 19 or 20, maybe. It usually caps out at about 18, which is why I was saying, or 17 or 18, which is why I was saying I usually am doing 180 damage, which is enough to KO any basic EX except for Whale Lord, obviously. But if you, if you were to discard more than that, or you got them all in there somehow, um, that's a total of... Uh, 220 damage you would be doing, which KOs almost any Mega. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, there's your um, all-around basics of the deck, I guess. Um, this is this is the first deck profile I've ever done, so um, go ahead and leave me feedback uh, in, the dis in, the, in the discard pile. In the comments section, if... Uh, you, if you have any tips for me, or something you think would be better to play, or maybe you just think the deck's garbage, uh, you can go ahead and tell me that down in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, 
and I would really appreciate it. Maybe give me a like and subscribe if you're feeling it. There will be more coming. Um, I've got a couple more decks that I'm actually um, about to be finished with building, so I will have those uh, here for viewing pleasures eventually. Um, so, thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye. Have fun playing some Chandelure.